Hey guys, today we're gonna ride along with Scott Park and go visit his agent. Well, actually, to go audition at his agent. Some actors prefer to do stuff in their own studio. Others like to go in, get some direction, a little human contact. I say that sounds like fun. Let's go see what that's like with Scott Parkin, America's commercial actor. Hey, what's up? I'm Scott Parkin, and this is my take. Ah! It's one of my very favorite scenes in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. The great John Candy, who I, I miss daily, uh, or at least weekly, was playing, playing the fake, fake piano, and he gets the, he's smoking a joint, I believe, and he gets it stuck in his jacket. Oh, sorry, don't. No. Uh, he gets it stuck in his jacket and spins the car around, and Steve Martin wakes up. I just love this song. So how do you think voiceovers change since you've been in Los Angeles? You know, this is my 20th year with uh, my agency, which is insane. So it, sh it shows you how, how much I like it and how good they are and how great I am, if we're honest. Um, it hasn't changed. No, it's, it's changed in every way possible in the scope of stuff, the, the, the length that stuff runs, the competition for ears and eyes. It, I, I mean, I don't know that there's anything that hasn't changed. I guess the, you still talk into a microphone. That's about the only thing. <laughs> Um, with the advent of the internet and the expansion of that, there's never been more opportunity for, for work. But that's probably the biggest change, is the amount of stuff that's out there. Um, and um, the competition for that work. You have, to be, you have to be really good and you have to consistently learn more things. Like I take classes, I take, um, I just took uh, Rachel's, or uh, Mary Lynn Wisner with Ra Rachel Globner, I believe her name is. I hope I'm saying that right. But she's a Disney animation casting person. And I take classes. I take Dave Finoy's class. I take Jeff Howell's promo class. And I'm a teacher. I teach every week. I think you have to evolve and you have to get better. You have to get better at the stuff you already are good at and you have to expand your range on either side of your main money voice. My car, my car. I've had nothing but Hondas my whole life. This isn't a Honda commercial. But the new CRV is amazing. It's smarter than me, so sometimes I get out of it and it's still running, and it's like beep, beep, beep. Hey, dumbass, come get your keys. So this is DPN. This is my agency. They moved over here and turned from DPN, from ICM into DPN. DPN is also my on-camera agency. I'm doing a little feature on me. And I just wanted to say, this is, this is Paula. Jennifer loves being on camera. I That's do. one of her favorite things. <laughs> That's the booze for Fridays. This is Taylor. He, hey, hey buddy, how are you? These are our booths. Um, this is one of the reasons that, oh, I lost you. That's Dave's booth. He's a giant nerd. So welcome to talk to me. I'll explain to you. Hey, buddy. Hi. This is Paul. Are you Dave? I'm. I am Dave. Yeah. Hi. What, are you, what are you doing, buddy? You shouldn't be doing all of that. No. Hey. 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 I get Got pepper. I get. I get pepper sprayed here. Issues. <laughs> I heard you call me a nerd. For me, I prefer to come in. Well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, I like to warm up by jawing with people in the lobby that I've known for a long time. I like almost everybody. Andy Milder, I still don't like. And so that, but that's fun too because he's he's such an easy target. There's so much to work with. You can just come in and eviscerate him, and he doesn't even know it because he just uh, he's not present. Um, but I love I love these people, and I love and our booth directors. We have three booths, four booths if the, if it's a super busy day. But between Kimberly, Dave, and Juliet, I get the best direction that I can, and it means I have less time to audition because I don't go at my house and go. That's great cheese. No, that's great cheese. That's great cheese. That is great. That's great. I can obsess um, over a home audition. So the, the type of read that I started doing so many years ago in Dallas after radio, I, I didn't know it at the time, but it's a conversational uh, non-announcer read. Um, so that's really where my bread and butter is. It's what I teach, um, and you add improv to that, and that's that's usually how it. it People don't want to be told what to listen to anymore. Come on, Dad. That stuff is um, that's it. Just there's a very small percentage of that stuff. So if you don't have a decent conversational read, you're missing out on a good fifty percent of the copy that's out there because there are so many different versions of it. Even you know, like um, 
The promo announcer is like, it's not tonight on Jimmy Fallon. It's, hey, if on Fallon's got such and such, and Justin Timberlake and another guy, he's supposed to be, you know, it's that kind of thrown away, relaxed, conversational read. And there are a million different versions of it, um, which is why I teach it. Um, so yeah, conversational, non-announcery, improv-based. That's my bailiwick. DPN is a female-centric company. There is females at the head of animation and promo department, and I have I, <laughs> Trish is my one of my commercial agents, and Hi. she is amazing. And we have two female booth operators. All of our accounting department, very strong female. Camera department. On camera department. Two, it's two and female. one. That's right. So I like that. I'm a, close to my mom, and I have a daughter, so. I get along. You don't discriminate. There's some men here. There is, and great men, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you, Trevor. You're and, welcome. And I'll I love check that. on you in a bit. Okay, cool. Oh, who has these? Dave. Okay, so that's it. I get handed a couple pieces of copy, and she says, "Hey, go into Dave." And then uh, it's it's very quiet in here. That's why we're doing it now. So <laughs> because if it was busy, if this lobby is filled and four booths are cranking. So it's a, it's a bit intense, and you have to quietly sit here, not go on your phone, concentrate your copy, or go outside and practice. So yeah, uh, I, I like it here. That's why I'm here. So Dave and I have a hate-hate relationship. So I usually come in and say, oh, God, do I have, is there someone else? Is there anyone else? And I'm like, oh, God, really? Is so he in my booth focused. again? He's just not here. <laughs> And as and I he goes, what? text my other client and you know, <laughs> employees, and <laughs> do that. I tell Trish, uh, I'm like, Trish, why is he here? I don't know why he's here. Their, and their daughter. So. <laughs> and he just and talks and talks. Show. It's kind of family-ish around here. Yeah, it's probably why real family. Story. Real family. Yeah. Uh, yes, and with all the dysfunction, the drinking, and the anger as well. Lots of drinking. All right. So. All right, you ready to try this? Yeah, I haven't rehearsed it, so we'll just go at it. Sure. Scott Parkin. Right now, when you buy four eligible Bridgestone tires, you can get up to $100 on a Visa prepaid card. Bridgestone, our tires are built to come through in the clutch. We're looking for a mid-range male voice talent, 40s with a confident en energy and optimistic tone. We'll likely use a background track that's rhythmic and energetic. So, I don't know that that was that, because <laughs> I didn't read the specs. I'm a professional. I've been doing it pretty long. <laughs> Uh, so let's, can we go again? Yep. Any, any advice? Um, I would just say may engage me with it just a little bit more. Right, right, right. Uh, you're still rolling. Right now, when you buy four eligible Bridgestone tires, you can get up to $100 on a Visa prepaid card. Bridgestone, our tires are built to come through in the clutch. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, let me, can I pre-sell this? We can edit this part out. This is a, uh, a I warned him it has a little scream in the front. So these are Kirkland glasses. Standard operating thing for most voiceover people because Costco rules. Mm. Here we go. Are you ready to rock out? Out, out! Oh, sorry. I got a little carried away there. So you like rock music? Sweet. I love rock music, too. You want to try out some rock trivia? Sure you do. Come on, man. Let's do this. Match wits with a gas pump. What could go wrong? You love this. Want to have fun with a photo booth feature? We got that, too. It's so cool. Try it. Ready? Go. Arch your back. Good. Perfect. Yo, awesome. You're like some kind of a rock wizard, man. Did you tour with Poison or other hair bands? Because you are super good at this. Pretty rad, right? 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 Is it rad? You're talking to a, to a freaking gas bomb. Is this crazy? Okay, listen. There'll be an edit there. Was that the funnest news and weather report or what? Did you see the way that guy pointed to the different H's and the weather? Wow, this is super cool. So, what's your sign? I'm a, mine is exit 122. You get it? Because of exit 122, it's a sign. Yield? All right. My mom's name is, is watch out for falling rocks. But seriously, I'm a Pisces. I like long walks on the beach. Why? Because I don't have a car. Come on! All right, so that's the amount of copy that was there. About, I was about 60% improv, right? Maybe 70% 70, 70 improv. And we would prop, Dave and I would go through that and go, ah, oh, that's a little much there. And, and we'd go back and pick that up. But that's that. So, all right. <laughs> there you go, got it? Ow, I'm okay. A couple years ago, uh, Mary Lynn and Mary Lynn Wisner, who is my patron saint of all things wonderful, um, I said, I don't think there's anyone teaching the conversational real read and improv for VO. And she goes, you're right. Uh, and you're really good at that. And you're really fun. So uh, I did a Meet the Pros class and 
there was 10 people in there. I was really glad that anyone would pay for my opinion. And afterwards, a bunch of them said, hey, do you do uh, private Skype coaching? And Mary Lynn goes, yes, he does. And I went, yeah, yes, I, I do. And I teach even when people don't want it. Like I could teach this guy how to fucking drive. So I really do like teaching and I've really, really gotten into it the more opportunities that come up. I teach every weekend, I, I teach on-camera commercials to really great kids and advanced teens at Gray Studios. And my students have booked uh, 75 national commercials since I started the program with Chanel Gray two and a half years ago. It's a pretty dang good average. That's a couple million dollars worth of cash uh, to those people. And I teach, I, I went to Atlanta, I taught in Atlanta with Gerald Griffith and Mary Lynn for VO Atlanta. Uh, and then I went to Voice Tracks up in San Francisco. I love that place. I teach on Skype um, three or four times a week, depending on how much I, I, I want to do and how much people want me to do. Uh, and I'm going to London with the VoiceOver Network for Rachel Naylor in September. And I'm doing a lecture, and then Miranda and I are gonna tour Scotland. Scotland! And Ireland. Um, also London, so I can't wait. And I, I'm, I'm really loving teaching and it's a path of least resistance. So you gotta hit, the, hit it from every angle you possibly can to make a living at this. So that's opened up and I'm leaning into it. We're sideways. I did. I did. Here we go. <laughs>